What's up YouTube? Marta here. Now I'm about to take and strip down my differential right here. Get a little bit closer. Okay, this is just the stock differential for the uh, Fastlane machine. Ultimate hybrid combo diffs. Okay, so we're just going to start by uh, pulling out these four screws here. Alright, so now we got them four screws pulled out. So now, just kind of wiggle that top off. Alright, so now we got two halves here. Whoop. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of push up on this bottom shaft down here. Because I got this top gear that I want to take out. Alright. And then I'm just going to set this one back on, on this side, where it should go, okay? So now, looking in there, these probably are a little long overdue for uh, fluid. I mean, I honestly haven't even touched them since I installed them, which was around the first of the year already. So, shame on me, but... I mean, at least they're still still somewhat lubed up in there from before, so not all is bad. All right, so now we're just going to take all these little spider gears out. You got two sets of them there, and then you got your main one on the bottom, your pinion drive here. Just going to take that off, okay? All right. So then there's the inside of the cup, All right? And now, I'm pretty much just gonna take my grease cleaner here and uh, spray down all the parts, you know, get them nice and clean, and then put it back together and then add the diff fluid. Alright, got all the little spider gears taken out, taken care of, all clean and good to go, All right, as well as their shafts. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the output shaft here, it's got its little spider gear on there, and then it's got its pin, pull that out, and then a little washer and then a seal okay so now the seal here it's got a little wear on there but I don't think I have any extra so unfortunately I'm gonna have to put that back in there okay so I got these guys good and actually I'll just reassemble it right quick Good to go, nice and clean. Okay, now for the other one. Again, it's basically that same exact assembly. Actually, it is. All right, I'll assemble this side again right away. This side over here got the uh, seal pressed up in there good. All right, there he is. Good to go. All right, now these are sealed differentials. You probably can't tell but right around in here is the seal and oops sorry here's a few more that I got just for replacements you know but yeah 
There it is. Alright, there we go. Okay, nice and clean up on the inside. This guy I'm just gonna kinda clean up a little here and he'll go right back in. Okay, he's in there good like so. I'm just going to grab another seal out of the baggie. And then there's what it looks like brand new. Okay. Let's put it right in there. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is put this output shaft right back into the other side. Okay, there it is. Alright, perfect. Okay, now we got our, <coughs> excuse me, the housing. Still gotta clean this up. Got to put this in first. Alright. Okay. Got that guy in there. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's get this guy dropped in. Okay. So then there's these. We got these. Uh, four slots here, okay, and that is for these shafts to slide right on in. Okay, there we go, drops in, and now this flat spot you can see it there on that shaft. If we spin it, you can kind of see that it's like a flat spot. All right, okay. Now that flat spot has to be facing up on, on the bottom shaft, on the shaft that goes in first. It has to be facing upward because then when you go to install the other one, the other shaft, see has a flat spot there. That one has to be facing down so then they they're uh it's like a perfect little cross they seat right together okay so now we get this one going it's kind of crooked there so it's like it's the flat spot straight up and down what you can do is just kind of wiggle it in oh fell right in no problem now see how they perfectly seat right together like that exactly how you want it all right so now just give a few spins here Ooh, smooth perfect okay so now let's get our diff fluid so I think I will run uh, tan in both front and rear. Okay. So now, here I'm just going to take and hold a steady stream. Just let it fill on up, fill on up. Okay. Kind of let it sink in some. Okay, it's going down in that gear mesh. Alright. You can always give it a little spin. Oh yeah. Feels good. Alright. It's going to keep on going here.
Okay, just kind of take a little break. You, you never really want to overfill it. Alright, so just kind of keep letting it settle. Get all the way down there. And the idea is to put just enough to come to the top of them of the shafts down in there okay so the lighting's not that great there you can kind of see it's it's about there all right so yeah we're looking good right about there okay now time to put the two halves together here back you guys out just a tad So now I just kind of line up the holes, just press it right on over, okay, Oop. there we go. So now I got the holes ready, just got to get the screws put back in. And I will tell you now, put the little crooked there, there we go, okay, don't put the screws in all the way. Just uh, put them in a little bit, just kind of get them started, and then I'm done here. Just take and give it another spin, okay? Just to make sure you know all is working properly. Okay, there we go. Smooth. Well, it's pretty stiff, but that's just the fluid. Okay, working great. All right, now you can get them tightened. Okay, so we got them kind of tightened down there, and again, just spin it, you know, see if it's still moving properly in there, okay? Feels good to me. Now I'm going to tighten them down. Pretty snug, not too tight. This is still a plastic case, it could possibly crack. So, just put some tension on it, I mean, you don't have to torque it too hard okay all right and then just one last test that's perfect okay so now I'm just gonna kind of give her another shot of spray here just get my fingerprints off it okay Now it's time to work on the rear, but for you guys, that's all I got. I hope this helps in some way. Alright, take care.